So thinking about like, after you got through your profession and everything, if you want to mention like, were your knees doing okay at this point because you started to learn more about sports medicine? My knees were okay. They're good, good enough to play. I still, I still couldn't put it together. I remember mm -hmm. I, I was just trying to stay afloat in school. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, don't fail. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I, I, I had a conversation with, with Eric Okazaki a few months ago. You know, we talk about like his past students and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like even me, like, you know, everyone doesn't grow at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some maybe pick it up way later. Like you mm -hmm. have, so all my classmates just could pick it up. And I was like, wow, these guys are amazing. Like, oh, well, you know, we're all good friends to this day. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm able to talk candidly with them mm -hmm. and I can ask, I can ask them for advice. Mm -hmm. You know, no one ever looks down on you because you don't know as much as them. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's more than willing to help you. But, you know, everyone grows at their own, yes. at, at their own rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel that. I don't know why. Like, I, I took an eight-year break from athletic training. And then I, I came back. And I felt like I knew more. Yeah. I was like, what? Like, everything, all the knowledge I had was making sense. It made sense. Mm -hmm. Like biomechanics, anatomy, everything was making sense. It's like I, I, I'm not. I'm a visual learner. I need hands-on, but even with that, early on, trying to survive, it's like, oh, okay, I, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do, but not until later that it everything just clicks. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, oh, this is why we do stuff. Not super rated, not like yesterday, but yeah. you know, yeah. 10 years ago, maybe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so that's interesting. So let's talk about that a little bit. So after you went through the program, right? And yeah. you were an athletic trainer and then you took that break. Kind of explain yeah. what made you decide to take a break from athletic training and what other things, because I know that you're always doing all these different things all the time. So explain yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit about what basically brought you to that point to come back to athletic training. So I, I left athletic training because, you know, when you're young, you just, I, I liked it, mm -hmm. but we're always, I, I, I left to earn more money. Mm -hmm. So I left the profession and I, I, I went into air traffic control. Mm -hmm. I became an air traffic controller for a few years. Wasn't really cut out for it, <laughs> but I, but I was like, wow, you know, I, I can do whatever I want. I, mm -hmm. like, I, I like to cook. So I cook, <laughs> yeah. but then I got hurt. So I, I moved back. Like during those, during that time, I, I, I never looked back at athletic training. I was like, you know, that was, that was, that's what I did in college. That's what I did for a few years after college. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is, this is my life now. And sometimes life doesn't follow the, follow your plan. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I had, I, I moved back home because I tweaked my knee. Like I, I, I moved wrong. Like there was no real mechanism of injury, no falling or anything. Mm -hmm. If anything, I went to sit down. Mm -hmm. And I sit down and I rotated and I felt a, a click and um, it was my meniscus mm -hmm. and the pain wouldn't go away. With, with athletic training, what it helped me to do was get rid of my pain, mm -hmm. get rid of pain and go back into whether it being athletics or just life. Like that's what athletic training taught me, like to, mm -hmm. to get you back. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, doesn't, you don't have to be an athlete. Mm -hmm. But it taught me how to treat my pain. Mm -hmm. But at that point where I wasn't able to, I knew that I would have to get some kind of surgery. Mm -hmm. So I moved back home, got some odd job selling fish because, you know, it ties in with the, tied in with the restaurant mm -hmm. just to get insurance. Uh -huh. Even though I, like in hindsight, I didn't have to, I could have just, you know, applied for quests, but I don't know. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm getting a job, get insurance, get surgery, and get back on that horse. Yeah, so I, I got surgery from 
I, I had gotten a knee replacement. Mm -hmm. I got my right knee replaced by Kasna Kasone. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kasna Kasone at Straub. I felt like I was a, life was kind of hard back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm in pain. Mm -hmm. I'm working odd jobs so I can afford the surgery, so I can mm -hmm. get insurance to afford the surgery. Mm -hmm. So I got the surgery. And man, talk about life changing. Mm -hmm. That to take away your pain, now you can just focus on accomplishing your goals now. Mm -hmm. Your goal that day isn't, oh, okay, I just got to get through the pain today. I can do more things. So, yeah, I, I, I got the surgery. And man, life just picked up from that point. Yeah. Like, I got limping. I got job offers at PT clinics. My, my friend, um, Marcus Oshiro, who I work with at, uh -huh. at Midpack, he calls me as a game. We, we, we need someone. Are you available? I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh. So from, from that, I think it was from that point, like everything was like, you have a knowledge base. You're not really using it to your full potential. Mm -hmm. But I think so that was the beginning of me unlocking it. <laughs> yes. Like it, it was like I was brand, uh, like a brand new student athletic trainer. Almost. <laughs> oh, I could still take I have a kicking skills. <laughs>